And now we move on, you've got Robert Whitaker versus Marvin Vittori in your co-main event. This is a massive fight at 185. The top three fighters, I think Robert Whitaker's ranked number one. Marvin Vittori's ranked number three. And I think Alex Pahey's ranked number two. I think that's how the ranking are working right now. Or maybe Robert Whitaker's ranked number one, Vittori's ranked number two. But anyway, no matter how it goes, um, I think Robert Whitaker wins. And I think he does it very convincingly. I've seen a few people talking on the Twitter Albeit not, not the, I, don't, I just need to ignore Twitter. I don't know why I downloaded it in the first place. I probably only downloaded it a month ago, and ever since then, um, nothing's really happened. To be fair, but um, MMA Twitter, like, there's just some uh, interesting takes on that on that site. There's there's just some weird news uh, on Twitter. Like, I don't know why I downloaded it. I don't even know how to use the app anyway. But um, yeah, picking Robert Whitaker to win. I think that he's the most skilled fighter in the middleweight division. He's the most skilled mixed martial artist, in my opinion. Well-rounded, he's very well-rounded, and he's just skilled. Like, that's just it. He's just very skilled, and I just don't think that Marvin Vittori is that skilled. Like, his striking, I know he looks pretty good against uh, Paulo Costa, but he really just toughed that fight out, and even then, there's that really sketchy uh, point deduction as well. We, I mean, we saw him take a, a, a head kick to the back of it, the ear, which would knock out any man, which would knock me out unconscious probably for about 15 minutes. And he just ate it. You know, this guy's not going to get finished by Robert Whittaker. Let's be honest, Robert Whittaker hasn't finished a guy in a long time. And uh, Marvin Vittori is a guy that just doesn't really get finished. And I just don't see Marvin Vittori getting finished in this matchup at all. I think Robert Whittaker wins 30-27. He's the more skilled fighter. He's the much better striker in this matchup. Marvin Vittori is going to be shooting for takedowns. I think Robert Whittaker is going to be able to use it, mix up his wrestling as well. I don't think he's really going to be shooting for takedowns on Marvin Vittori, but I don't think that would be too bad of a game plan, you know. When you see a lot of these guys that are used to being on top on their back, they don't really know what to do. Like, I know that Marvin Vittori's got a good grappling base as well, and, I mean, he could become a very highly ranked fighter because of it, but I just don't think that Marvin Vittori's a very skilled fighter, you know. It's just, it's just truthfully what it is. I think he's got a lot of time to develop. He's not even 29 years old. But this isn't a good matchup. This is not a good matchup for Vittori at all. I mean, even then, Robert Whitaker has really been starting to mix up his uh, mix up his takedowns. Like I think earlier on in his career, I mean, prior to fighting Israel Adesanya, sorry, here's a stat for you guys. He's um, prior to fighting Izzy, this guy did not shoot takedowns really ever. He fought the fight on the feet, and this guy fought in the UFC for a long time, and uh, he just wasn't taking the fights to the ground, even at 170, at 185 as well. Went on a legendary run, low-key, and then ran into uh, Izzy, and uh, got knocked out unconscious pretty badly, let's be fair. But then after that, he, he put on a clinic against Darren Till after taking a year off. He really mixed up the grappling, really mixed up the grappling and the striking, really mixed up the grappling and the striking against Gastelum. Schooled Gastelum. No one schools Gastelum like a... Uh, like uh, Whitaker did, and I just think that um, Whitaker beats Vittori. Uh, I I just I I I agree with the line. I would I would line him very wide. I don't. In fact, I don't really. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Open and honest. I don't rate Marvin Vittori very highly whatsoever. I I really don't. I mean, he got a title shot off beating short notice Kevin Holland, Jack Hermanson, Carl Robeson. I'm sorry, but that's probably like the weakest three fight run to a title shot you could get he only got the title shot because he had fought Izzy in a close fight before and Adesanya schooled him and even then I completely forgot about the delusion this guy has he thought that he won the fight like Marvin Vittori is delusional um yeah no he's funny but uh he's, he's getting he's getting he's getting taken to school he's getting taken to school by Robert Whitaker and uh yeah he's, he's getting shown what's up <laughs> by the elite of 185 the most skilled fighter in 185 let's be honest uh in Whitaker so yeah, picking uh, Whitaker with a with a decent amount of confidence in this matchup.